Hi everyone and welcome to Wellbeing Homework for this week. So we're going to start with our law of signs and we're back in the library again. So our law of signs we'll start with, we're still doing food, so our first law of sign is butter. So there's an L hand shape in front of our chest, then a U hand shape and we're just going to scrape the butter onto the bread. Butter, butter. The next one is chicken and it's an S hand shape. Two S hand shapes, and we're just going to make the sign. But I think we do this for the for the bird song, don't we? So it's the chicken, chicken, chicken. Well done. The next one is meat. So again, it's two N hand shapes. One in front that doesn't move, the other one on top, and it's like we're cutting our meat. Meat, meat. Well done. The next one is pasta. So it's two D hand. It's yeah, it's two D hand shapes, and we're just that's no, close 20 and we're twisting out. I find this one really hard. Pasta. It's like the that spirally pasta, isn't it? Pasta. The next one is potato. So it's an A hand shape, two A hand shapes, and it's like we're peeling the potatoes. This is the peeler. Potato. Potato. The next one is rice. Now, rice is like a bowl. So we're holding a bowl in front of our chest. Then again, it's our N hand shape. And we're bringing the bowl up to our mouth. Rice, rice, rice. Very good. The next one is salad. So it's two D hand shapes. So we're making like a leaf shape. Salad. I'm bringing it together again. Salad. Well done. The next one is vegetable. Okay, so it's a V hand shape. We put one finger on our chin and we move it out twice. Vegetable, vegetable. And then the last one we're doing is peas. So it's a D hand shape, two D hand shapes, and it's like the, we're counting the peas in the pod. Peas. And it just bounces along our finger. Peas. Well done, everyone. Get yourselves ready because we're going to start doing our exercises now. All right? So we're going to get our hearts moving again. Are you ready to go? So we're going to start by marching on the spot. Marching on the spot. Back straight. Punch those arms. Let's do it for a count of 20. One, two, three, four. And if you need higher, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. Take a break. You can keep your feet moving while we're doing this. So our next one we're doing is our star jumps. Are you ready? Let's do our star jump. I'm going to go nice and slowly because I'm an old 80, but you can go a bit quiet. So we're not going to count the songs. I'm getting out of breath already. So we're going to do it for the count of 20, but we're going to count in our minds. Are we ready? Did you go quicker than me? Well done. I hope you went a little bit quicker than me. Now, the star jumps are very good. So, this next one is called a low sprint shuffle. Sounds good, doesn't it? Again, we're going to do it for the count of 20. So, what we're doing is we're get, keeping our feet like we're walking on hot coals, but we're going to go really, really quickly. Can you hear my toes? 20 seconds. Well done. Now, do you know where I feel it? I feel it in my calves. Right, the next one is uh, the squat. Okay, so we're going to try and keep our backs as straight as possible for this one. So are we ready? We're going to do 20 of these. Try and get lower than me. I'm just an example. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and in twos, sixteen, eighteen. 
20. Well done, everybody. So, this one, we're marching, this one's a hard one. So we're marching with high knees, we're trying to get our elbows to our opposite knee. Are we ready? So. Try to keep your back straight. Well done, everybody. And then our last one is where we go touch the ground, stand up again, all right? So it's legs apart, touch the ground, stand up. You ready? One, three, five, odd numbers, seven, nine, eleven, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20. Well done, everybody. So I'm going to take my shoes off and get ready for our Eric story. Well done, everybody. Ooh, taking my shoes off there. I like to do yoga without my shoes on because it gives me better grip on the mat. Now, our yoga today, we're going to carry on and do the great acts of exercises oh, that Eric does in the mornings. So this is Eric's morning yoga routine. And he uses this yoga routine to remember some of the things he's done in his previous stories. So first of all, he starts every morning by waving to the sun. So are you ready? So feet apart, shoulders back. Ooh. Big deep breath in. Last one. And he waves to the sun. So hands up, wave to the sun. Hello, sun. Hello, sun. How are you today? So the first thing he does is he remembers that he's a superhero. So he does some of these mighty warrior poses. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this, the straight one. So we bend our knees, back straight, tummies in, pushing out, looking towards the wall, really stretch those fingers so they're touching the wall. Really good. Look forward, look the other way, really stretching those fingers. Oh, that's amazing. Really, really stretching those fingers. It's a lovely feeling. Okay, now we're going to stand up, keep our feet where we are, but we're going to turn this foot this time. Okay, we're gonna bend our knee this way. We're gonna keep looking straight ahead, keep our shoulders straight ahead, pushing, keep our shoulders straight. Now just turn your hands to look at the wall. Just turn your hands, really pushing out. Oh gosh, Eric really likes this pose. Face forward, straighten up, bring that foot forward. Turn the other foot out this time. Push down again, keep your, your shoulders forward. Turn your head, I'm looking towards the books. Like Eric, I'm going to count back from 10. Nine, pushing out those fingers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Pushing up, pushing forward. This time I'm going to pull both feet forward. We're going to look this time, bending the front leg, pushing out with both hands. We're going to look this time, and our shoulders are facing the wall. Pushing fingers towards the wall. Keeping our back straight, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower our hands, stand up, turn our feet forward, turn both feet the other way, pushing forward with our knee, back front knee, pushing our hands up, keeping our back straight, pushing those fingers forward, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Oh, well done, standing up. Standing up straight, and that was to help him to remember that he's a superhero. The next thing he does is he gets on to 
and he remembers flying and looking at the different things that he can see when he's flying. And the first thing that he does is he gets onto his mountain pose. I like this one. So feet slightly together, shoulder length apart. We're just going to push our shoulders back, push out our hands. Oh, and he remembers all those mountains he's climbed and all those mountains he's flown over as he's gone on his special trips to help people as a superhero. Really feel the strength in that. Well, that's a really nice stretch in the back there. And of course, to get to those places, he needed to use his special rocket or his special broomstick. Do you remember we did broomstick in October? So let's do our chair pose. So I'm gonna face the wall and I'm going to squat down and I'm gonna push my hands out, really push them out, keep my back as straight as I can. Push, push, push. Oh. And when he's going in the rocket, he goes from side to side. Oh, on the broomstick, he goes from side to side. We're just gonna rock gently from side to side. Oh my goodness, what, what do you see out from your, from your special? I wonder what your special transport would be. Oh, I quite like a rocket myself. Now, what else he sees when he's flying in his rocket or in his, uh, in his lovely um, broomstick is he was looking at trees. So we're going to push our balance on our weight onto one leg. We're going to bring our hands in front of our chest. We're going to bring our hand, our foot here, push it up to the sky like very big tall trees for the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Keep that really straight, four, three, two, one. Bring our hands back down. And now we're going to do the tall tree on the other side. So bring our foot here, pushing up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Well done, that was really, really good. So what else he sees? when he's flying around, is he sees um, all the, he remembers all the tangles and twists that he got into during his amazing adventures. So we're going to do the eagle pose, so one leg across the other, we're going to twist our hands around each other, just to hold, hold that pose there for five, it's kind of squidging all our bodies together. Four, three, two, one, release. That leg back, twist to the other side, for the other side for eagle pose. Oh, excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. Now, in our next adventure, coming down maybe in January or February, he uses a boat, to, a speedboat, to go on his lots of his adventure. And he remembers speeding over rivers and over seas. So very gently goes to the floor. Face this way. Okay, so we're going to lean back. Bring our legs up and push our hands out. Look out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Now, we're going to just bring one leg up. We're going to put one hand behind us. Okay. This And this one is, he remembers how important it is to keep alert on his adventures and look all around him. So we're going to put one hand here, one hand on our Knee, the opposite hand on our knee, and we're just going to look. We're not going to twist our shoulders. We're just going to look around to remember to look behind us. Well done. Hand forward, other hand forward, leg straight. Now to put the other leg up. Very good. Other hand back, other hand on the knee, and remember looking behind you. Don't move your shoulders, just your head. Now, the other pose that he always likes to include is the, the uh, reverse plank pose. So, we're going to go down on the floor. Now, remember to roll on your back for this one. It's very important. So, very gently on the floor. So, push your back into the floor, feet on the floor like this, and you're just going to roll along and push your tummy right up to the sky. He really likes this pose. Oh, pushing right up to the sky, pushing your tummy up, holding it in. Then very gently roll back along your spine. Roll back along your spine. 
Now, we do it two more times. Push down into this floor with your spine, so your spine is flat on the floor, then push up to the sky. Excellent. Keeping your hands on the floor. This is the reverse plank pose. What's one of Eric's favorite poses? Push it up, up, up. Now very gently lower your back. Push it into the ground. Roll back around. Last one. Pushing up to the sky, pushing up to the sky, pushing up to the sky. We'll hold this one for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep your bum in, 6, 5. Hold your bum together, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Roll very gently back down. Roll it onto your side. Push yourselves up nice and gently. And now we're going to finish our Eric story with our wonderful butterfly pose because do you remember that he saves the butterfly in the last adventure he turns him back into a butterfly with his uh with his magic dust so we're going to put our feet together here bring them in okay and we're just gonna flap our knees like they're butterflies Ooh, 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, one. Oh, great job, everybody. Are you ready now to start our um, meditation? Go find yourself a blanket, or maybe you might find yourself a, um, uh, a nice soft sofa to lie on, or you can even sit in the chair to do this. So I'm just going to get the video ready for you to start. Well done, everybody. That was really good work today. Gently close your eyes now and softly repeat, I am still. Take five deep breaths together and on the out breath, say the words in your mind, I am still. Breathe in and gently breathe out, I am still. Breathe in. Your tummy getting bigger. Gently breathe out through your nose. I am still. Breathe in. Gently breathe out through your nose. I am still. Breathe in. Gently breathe out. Last one, breathe in, very slowly breathe out, feel your body relax and allow your body to sink down further and further as your muscles become soft, you feel so comfortable, your body just seems to relax more and more with each breath. Imagine now a small sparkle somewhere deep inside your heart. This small sparkle begins to glow brighter now and you feel it reaching up. The glow becomes brighter and brighter, filling up your chest. You feel the warmth spreading out touching your tummy, your shoulders, getting bigger and bigger, getting brighter and brighter, glowing all the way down to your toes. Now feel your whole body glowing like a bright, bright star shining out for all to see. This wonderful light is your light, your shining light, you at your best. It is all the love in your heart. It is all your possibilities. You shine your light wherever you go. Sharing your light makes others happy and it makes you happy as well. It's a wonderful feeling to share your light and by doing so 
you become a bright, good example to others. When you shine your light brightly, it lets others know that it's okay for them to shine their light brightly too. When we all do this, it makes the world a more beautiful, peaceful place. Sharing your light can be as simple as sharing your smile or doing a kind deed. Perhaps having a happy thought about someone or sending a happy wish to someone who is feeling sad. It can mean helping someone. All of this is shining your light and you will discover a wonderful, warm, fuzzy feeling inside your heart when you do this. This wonderful feeling comes from doing what you were created to do, feeling and spreading love and joy. Sharing your light means sharing the real you and being who you truly are. It means standing up for what is right and making the right choices that feel good in your heart. Now allow that bright light inside you to become like a gentle shower of fireworks. See how beautiful, amazing you are. You light up the sky. Imagine the fireworks of all different colours sparkling in the sky. Take a moment to look at the colours as they shoot into the sky. You see a red spiral. Now you see yellow stars bouncing in the sky. Then you see bright blue flashes. Now you see green explosions lighting up the whole sky and orange sparkles popping all around. As the fireworks sizzle and flare down, imagine your brilliant light touching the heart of every person you know and will meet. They feel happier just because they know you. How wonderful and blessed life is. Take a moment to think of someone you smiled at today. Someone you made happy just by being you. Now let's concentrate on our breathing again. And while we breathe this time, let's listen to the sounds around us. Breathe gently, breathing in, gently breathing out through our nose, breathing in, gently breathing out, listening all the time to the sounds around you, breathing in, gently breathing out. Breathing in and gently breathing out. Breathing in and gently breathing out. Now bring back all the good feelings you have right now with you as you slowly stretch your body. Stretch out your arms, open your eyes. When you're ready, you can sit up. You've done an amazing job. Well done. Breaths together and on the out breath. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed well-being homework for today. Um, and uh, well done. Well done, everybody. Take care.